Good day viewers, this is 300 plus academy where all we do is exams tutoring, ensuring that you ace your next exam. Still on uh, alternative B for wire chemistry practical uh, this year. Um, we've been looking at a uh, probable uh, question. What should the uh, question look like? Uh, a quick reminder that in the last lecture video, the link is in the description to this video with come to the conclusion that uh, VD uh, can either be 24.67 or 24.60, but in this question, my VD is going to be 24.60. I'm gonna be using 24.60. D, don't forget, our D talks about HNO3, and then our E talks about sodium trousal carbonate 4, and somehow we may be given as sodium trousal carbonate four that's uh, the hydrated form of it containing water of crystallization whichever one we have we carry on with the uh, titration now looking at the question displaying on your screen you know after all of the titration tabulate your result calculate the average volume of the use and that is why it is very imperative for you to check at the description of this video for the link on the video that on the lecture video that talks about um, how you prepare your table and what our average title value is we cannot continue to repeat the table in all of the uh, probable questions that we are going to be discussing so we are using our VD as 24.60 cm cube so when you look at the very first part of this question, as you can see on your screen, the, uh, it, it already answered. It already answered like we have in the last lecture video. So we move straight to B. It says, from your results and the information provided, calculate the concentration of E in mole per dm cube. So this is going to be B1. We're looking for... Uh, our concentration of D, as you can see in the question here, is 0 0.100 mole per dm cube. Our VD here uh, is 24.60 cm cube. And according to the equation, even in this question, as you can see on your screen, we've been given the equation, number of moles of D is actually 2 from equation and we are told to look for CE in mole per dm cube. That is the question. And our VE is the volume of the pipette, which is 25.00 cm cube. And our NE for the base here is 1. Look at it very well from the equation. We only need one mole of the uh, base. We balanced that over and over in the last lecture. Check the link. In the description of this uh, uh video it says calculate the concentration of e mole per dm cube now concentration of e, if we say cd vd over ce ve equals to nd over ne if we make ce the subject being that we are looking for concentration of sodium carbonate here ce our ce here is going to be cd vd ne divided by V E N D and this here is going to mean um, my C E equals to 0 0.100 times uh, 24.60 in this case times my N E is a uh, 1 divided by 25 times 2 if you compute this from your uh, calculator we're going to get 0 0.049 mole per dm cube. That is what our concentration of E is going to uh, uh, be. So uh, from there, we move to the uh, next question. As you can see in the question displaying on your uh, screen, it says we should look for the concentration of E in gram per dm cube. Now, concentration of E. This is romantic because concentration of E in gram per dm cube. Concentration in gram per dm cube is actually concentration in mole 
per dm cube times molar mass if you look at in this case we are talking about sodium carbonate dot sh2o so this is going to be 0 0.049 as we've gotten that to be 0 0.049 as a, we've gotten that to be our ce in more per dm cube but the molecular mass because we are dealing with this now of course we know this is 106 this is 106 but we don't know what uh our x is there and what the whole of the water of crystallization is going to represent so looking at it from that point then we have to take another approach you know to be able to get the concentration in gram per dm cube because you look at it in the question it says e is a solution containing 7.15 gram of uh, na2co3 dot sh2 in 500 cm cube of solution so we have to look at getting the answer alternatively and in getting the answer alternatively here you need to understand that concentration of e in gram per dm cube is actually uh we can say okay what is the mass that we have divided in grams divided by the volume in dm cube according to what you have from the question we were given 7.15 gram in 500 cm cube now since we were given 500 cm cube it means that's not in dm cube how do we convert from cm cube to dm cube we divide by a thousand and when we do this what our answer will be when we compute is going to be um 14 point three gram per dm cube yes when we compute because what you're going to have is 7.15 1000 is going to move up times 1000 divided by 500 that way concentration of e in gram per dm cube uh is going to be 14.3 gram per dm cube and that ends that moving on question three says moving on question three say we should look for the molar mass of na2co3 uh dot sh2 uh o now we are going to be although we could not do anything with this here uh talking about question three you need to understand that concentrate if concentration in gram per dm cube equals concentration in mole per dm cube times molar mass then it means that the molar mass then it means this is going to come as the divisor here it's going to be cons cons molar mass of e so that means that we're going to be saying concentration in gram per dm cube divided by concentration in mole per dm cube so what that means is concentration in gram per dm cube here is 14.3 concentration in mole per dm cube is 0 0.049 when we compute this what we are going to get is 291.8 gram yes 291.8 gram and that ends question uh, three there where uh, in question four we're told to look for the value of x in sodium carbonate dot uh, sh2 we're told to look for the value of x okay for question four we're told to look for the value of x this is very simple uh it means that na2co3 dot xh2o everything equals 291.8 now from calculation sodium carbonate is going to give us 106 plus h2o is 18 18 times x 18x equals to 291.8 so we basically need to solve this equation to get the value of x so this means 18x equals to 291.8 minus 106 when we compute this uh what we're going to have is going to be 185 185.8 18x equals to 185.8 so x equals to 185.8 divided by 18 when we compute this uh, we are going to get 10.3 10.3 10 
that is the value of our x and that's just about ain't that a question look at it very well if you have any question if you need a uh, uh, more detailed explanation if you're confused about anything don't hesitate uh look at the uh whatsapp uh line on uh, displaying on your screen you can send a direct uh, a message and of course you can link up with us via our website 300 plus academy.com the very first thing you see there it's uh various whatsapp group just join any of the whatsapp group dm any of the admin your questions and we will tend uh to you uh, from myself and the entire team it's bye for now